So hi everyone. So today I come with another interview experience. My interview experience at IIT Ropper for PhD, uh, and I applied for CSE branch. So we will discuss for five ten minutes about my experience at IIT Ropper. So mostly uh, 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 when I give the interview experience for PhD at IIT Ropper, so mostly uh, there is only one round that is interview round. Uh, which goes for around 30 40 minutes so in interview round uh, there are many questions they ask me they will see your knowledge uh, mostly uh, in interview uh, they will check your basic knowledge about different subjects and the subject for which you are interested like you are interested in networking ai ml or quantum computing or in which domain you are interested they will check your knowledge in that domain apart from that they will check your knowledge uh, in general subjects theoretical knowledge and apart from that they will uh, see your publications and your projects which you have done in, in your college time right so my interview started with the introduction they asked about my introduction so uh, try to give a good introduction about yourselves try to uh, tell them about uh, more about your research uh, potentials uh, about your skills in uh, in your introduction okay so afterwards, uh, one of the professors starts asking me questions related to your mathematical questions. Like they ask me about your Egan vectors, your Egan values, okay? And they ask me, uh, they are they are given me two vectors. I have to find uh, whether they are linearly independent or not. Okay, they are also asked me like time complexities. Uh, when we are multiplying two matrices, what is their time complexity? So if I can say we have a two matrices of order, n into n okay then its time complexity is going to be n cube big of n cube right and then uh, one professor asked me questions related to your data structures uh, like he asked me about uh, uh, firstly he asked me how to delete a element from a given linked list okay and then you have to tell the process how you can uh, do it okay and then he changed the question he asked me uh, how to uh, delete an element uh, when we have a doubly linked list instead of single linked list okay like in uh, singly linked list we have to keep one pointer to the previous node to the node which we have to delete but in double linked list there is no such kind of need because we can track back uh, to the previous nodes directly because there are two links in a single node and then uh, there are questions like on stacks and queues like how we can implement a stack using two queues how we can implement a queue using two stacks and all okay there are some questions on time complexity as well i just forget i don't know exactly for now then uh, there is one ma'am who asked me questions related to your networking questions like he asked me about push and pop protocols like we know in push protocols we have a smtp simple mail transfer protocol in pop protocols we have our two protocols imap4 and your uh, pop3 okay uh, through that we can uh, pop we can touch it out your messages and using smtp we are pushing a message to a uh, message to a server and then they are also asked about https thing or you can say http okay like mostly https is your secure version of your http thing hyper uh, transfer hyper test transfer protocols right like there are in uh, http i think there are a uh, single uh, connection uh, single collection for your data and control signals uh, and all you have to tell I don't know exactly uh, uh, for now and then they will focus on your projects and your publications like I did projects I did two three good projects so uh, one of the professor is already working on agriculture field so he discussed with me about the projects related to your plant disease and identification using artificial neural network thing and uh, like he asked questions what i did in that and also what i did i i uh, there are various things in that like we have to image we have to collect the images then we have to segment those image, images we use k-means and elbow method then you have to uh, extract the features we did using glcm then you have to do classifications that is we did during neural network so we they will uh, try to check your knowledge in depth like he start modifying uh, the questions like uh, in my project I have taken plant leaf as an image. So he started modifying questions like if we take a, if we take an image of a tree from distance instead of plant leaf, then how you will deal the things and all. 
okay so you have to answer you have to think like they start checking your thinking abilities there okay so you have to answer uh, whatever you think uh, you should uh, answer it uh, answer it at least you should answer what you, uh, what's in your mind you should answer it instead of being just saying i don't know and all you should answer it okay and uh, and then uh, they ask me like if i have any questions there so you can ask any questions about if you have any doubt like i asked questions like in phd mostly we are going to just do publications or uh, we are going to make some good products uh, like which we can give to society okay so they gave me very good answer they said uh, no uh, making a product is a scary thing firstly there are problems we have to solve them we have to give their solution okay that is what we have to do in phd okay we have to give some new solutions there are some problems okay and later on uh, you can uh, using those solutions you can make products and give it to the society that is a scary thing okay that is a really additional thing if you want to do you can do it but the main focus of phd is uh, there are problems and you have to solve it okay that is main uh, area of phd what we are doing there right so it is all my experience there and, uh, on, uh, and fortunately uh, my experience my interview was quite good so i received offer letter as well from iit roper and uh, so so it was uh, uh, but uh, unfortunately i have a very good job in mnc which is paying very good salary so i haven't joined iit roper for now uh, but uh, i will uh, think in future for phd program as well but you should not uh, limit yourself that if only you have to join then you have to do the things okay you should be curious uh, uh, like you you might be like i am very curious person i want to take experience of everything okay so i just applied i want to see where i stand what what knowledge i have whether i am capable of doing phd or not what is the requirement for a phd whether i suits or not so all such kind of things uh, uh, i think one should consider okay so that is my experience thanks